What up? It's the champ, MLJ. In this episode, we'll talk about WWE 2K16 and news that was revealed at E3 and other news. It was revealed that there will be 50 to 80 cost slots inside this game this year, which that's really good. Roman Reigns' entrance is pale compared to Seth Rollins. I guess that means Seth Rollins' entrance will be very better, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But Roman Reigns will have his entrance coming down the stairs. So a lot of people might have that because it's pretty cool. Um, there's new motion capture for weapons. And the weapons are the same from last year. Except for there will be new animations for them. Which we haven't seen any of them yet. But it should be, it should be pretty cool. Um, there will be no music importer. So... You won't be able to add any of your own music, but they but they will be adding live updates like in the other 2K games like NBA 2K. Um, if a superstar has a new theme song, they will add it in a future update. I'm not 100% sure if they're doing this with entrances either. So you have to wait and find out more about that. Um, it was said that the arenas and pay-per-view arenas inside the game will be just like it is on TV. And on TV... The pay-per-view arenas are exactly the same, like Raw and SmackDown. So there will be an arena editor in which you can change them up, or I think you can also make your own. I'm not 100% sure on what that's all about. It was also said that there will be 35 titles inside the game. And there's no word about create a championship yet, but we have to hear more about that. And also, Renee Young is doing voiceovers inside the game. The reason why she's doing voiceovers for in backstage interviews inside career mode. And I'm pretty sure they also said that it was also inside universe mode. So, not just Renee, Renee Young's doing the voiceovers, but other superstars are doing voiceovers. So she can interview them and they can say what they want to say. I guess only specific superstars are going to be picked. I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. And the cover star this year is Brock Lesnar. I really thought that was going to be Roman Reigns. I kind of wanted Seth Rollins, but a little bit I kind of knew it would be Brock Lesnar. Um, the reason why he's on the cover this year is because it was part of his new um, contract with WWE. He signed a three-year contract, and one of the things that stated was he would, he was going to be on the cover of WWE 2K16. We don't know for sure if he's going to be on there by himself. Or if there's going to be more people with them. So that's all we know so far about what was from E3. I am the champ MLJ and I'm signing off. Peace.